I've been boxing since I was six years old. I have 500 and something fights, um, open boxing fights. Um, I've traveled around the world. So my amateur pedigree on its own uh, speaks volume. So hence I'm where I am today, challenging the national title. So yeah, yeah. yeah. This opportunity, man, tell me, what does it mean to you? Um, not every, every boxer gets an opportunity to challenge for, for the SA title at four fights. Uh, really, what do you think this means to you? I mean, you got to those ratings quite uh, fast. It, it means a lot, man. It means that um, I've worked hard in, in my amateur pedigree. Uh, it means that um, I've put in some work, you know. Uh, it means that um, my amateur pedigree really played a role um, grooming the person that I am today, you know. In, in the year 2022, uh, you were nominated the, the fighter of the year. I mean, that was uh, still uh, premature in your career, but uh, that alone is, is, uh, says volumes. It was a cracker. I was fighting Kane for uh, 2022. It was a cracker. We, from first round up until sixth round, we were really, really giving our all. So it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Okay, le le let's get to this now. Let's get to this now. Um, going to Joburg uh, uh, in a in, in few days from now, the 14th actually, to be exact, of September. Uh, that's the night of glory. Um, how have you prepared to ensure that you bring that title back as it deserves to be with you, I, I, I guess? All is well, man. Um, the camp has been good. Um, we are just keeping it light and easy now. You know, staying focused, you know, uh, sticking to our game plan, which I won't, I won't reveal here, but yeah, we we're doing good, man. Everything is good. Everything is good. I should I should presume once more that um, this is one of those fights. Yes, it's, it's important. It's imperative, uh, but I think you you're looking beyond this particular fight. I mean, if you you got such a, a background of boxing, it means uh, at some um, stage in your in your career you you anticipate to become the world champion. L just take us through your 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 your, your hopes uh, for your upcoming uh, title fights uh, just after you've done with this one. Uh, look, everybody has ambitions, you know, goals and all that. I think this fight uh, is a determiner, you know, of where we're going. I mean, we've been we've been we've been saying this um this is our plan, actually. After so much years, we we'll, we'll get this title, and then after it, we challenge for international titles. So, our game, our plan with, with our management is going accordingly. So, this one is actually key, um, a key to greater pressures. What 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 can you promise them about this particular fight? How what what is it going to be for them? They better come early. They better come early. That's what I, that's what I can say. They better come early, otherwise. They will miss it. They will miss it. That's all I can say. That's so, can say. so you, you, you reckon that it, it might just end early? It would be daddy. Eh? It will, it's, it's, going, it's going to be daddy. Yeah. They better come early. They better come early. Have you looked into the activities of your opponent, which is also to help you uh, uh, prepare for him? Do, do you know what he's capable of? Of course, of course. He's an awkward uh, boxer. He's a tall ass nigger, you know, he's an awkward boxer. He's very tall. Um, he likes to use his reach. So I've studied him. We've studied him in the camp. So we don't think we, we have a problem with that. So you, you, you're sure you'll just uh, try to navigate your way inside? Because, I mean, that's the only way. He has to keep you away from him in order to, to utilize his advantage of reach. But you've prepared to, to, to counter that, yeah? I will prepare for anything. Whether he runs, whether he stands, it's okay. <laughs> we prepared everything. And, and it might just end earlier. They better come early. <laughs> the fans better come early. The fans better come early. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going uh, the new champ is coming for you. So, rest assured, <laughs> uh, just take us through this coming fight, uh, September, and what does it mean to you, this one in particular, uh, considering that, I mean, he's, he's got this shot at uh, the very early stage uh, of his career, that as well says a lot about you as the manager. So, just take us through this. Oh, okay. Firstly, um, this is a very good fight. Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, it's a career-defining fight for him as well as for myself as a manager. Uh, because in the past, I've managed boxers that were managed by other people. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's one of my, my, my own products mm -hmm. in terms of boxing management. So it's a, it's a defining moment for myself and for him as well. Winning it will, will change everything for him in particular, you know, because 
we are in it to change lives. Once he wins this one, everything changes for him. Okay, I must say though, um, it's not going to be an easy one. Um, not going to be an easy one. He's got a, an, a, an awkward uh, fighter, um, and also the, the physical structure is quite vast as well. How have you sat down and uh, studied uh, that kind of uh, chemistry, and how will you deal with it? Uh, well. We, we're not expecting an easy fight. Um, we're expecting a very hard fight. We've prepared for, for the best uh, possible. You know, if what, whatever he comes with, we should be ready for it. We, he has some slight advantages over us. He's tall, he's got long arms, you know, he's beaten good boxers. So, um, but now we will have to test that. We'll have to test um, areas of his boxing that were never tested. Uh, none, no one has ever tested him. Uh, all his opponents, they never actually really, really tested him. So we, we just have to see if he's going to pass the test that we have for him. Uh, I don't want to say much, I can't say much, but I think you've, you've seen a glimpse of what we have. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll just need to test to see if it's the real deal or not. Okay. Uh, in, in, in most, in, in most uh, cases, you'd find that uh, a boxer is, is, is ready or uh, the, the fitness is there. Uh, but just you, you don't know what happens during the course of the fight and you see a, a fighter is weak, uh, a fighter cannot sustain throughout, uh, but well, the, the, the preps were, were quite fine. How, how have you dealt with that to ensure that if the fight goes the full distance, your, 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 your boxer performs quite well throughout the, the fight? Uh, how have you pre prepared for that? Well, that's, that's, that speaks to, to, pre to preparations, both physically and psychologically. Uh, you know, on the psychological aspect of it, uh, Blom has fought in Jobek two times already as, as, uh, in, in his four fights. Uh, his, his first fight was in Jobek, his second fight was also in Jobek, um, which, which was nominated for fight of the year. So on that psychological aspect, he's fine. He, he won't have any, any psychological issues of freezing, of being nervous. On the physical aspect, he's been preparing throughout the year. You know, it's his first fight this year, so he's always been in gym. And as soon as we started negotiations for this fight, he's been preparing for it. Uh, he came down to East London for the camp, so uh, we shouldn't have any of those challenges. We, we're not expecting any of those. Okay. Surely, just uh, after this one, um, uh, you, you have um, a map of where you, you want to see uh, uh, Oblom. Yeah. So what can you say about that? Um, when we win this one, not even if... Okay. When, when we win this one, the, he'll be due for a voluntary defense. Okay. Uh, we, we will sit as a team and see should we perhaps take a voluntary um, defense or maybe we, we take an international route. But uh, I, 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 I will still need to sit down, but for myself personally, from the top of, from the top of my mind now, I would say we'd, we'd have to opt for an international route. Mm -hmm. Uh, get him an international rating as soon as possible because he's done it all at amateur level. Absolutely. Actually, I was coming to that. Yeah. that um, I, I don't think we, we need to delay him any yeah. further because his background, his amateur uh, introduction speaks a lot. Uh, yeah. He's been around. So he, he knows exactly what to do in the ring. As much as now he may be having only four professional fights, but as far as the experience in the ring, he's um, is, is quite, is quite good at that. Yeah, he's got, he's got so much experience. He's, he's got so, so, so much experience. He's traveled all over the world. He's been at almost every amateur games that, that are there, representing the country, being captain of the South African team, winning the national title several times, being African champion. So it, it only makes sense to speed him up uh, because yeah. the, some of the boxers that were in, the, in those championships with him, some are world champions, So, uh, but unfortunately we're delayed with, with COVID. But we have to speed him up. Uh, by the end of next year, he should be world champion. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's just speak about this area. Uh, uh, how do you ensure that their behavior um, is, is, is spot on? Uh, discipline means a lot in, in, in sport, a, a lot. Uh, but how do you entrench that in their minds to sort of respond in that way as well, which is to a assist uh, their career as well? How do you cope with that? Yeah, you know, um, in, in boxing, um, what I've observed from being in boxing all my life is that Discipline starts with the leadership. You know, if, if you are, um, you have to lead by example. If, if I'm a leader who cannot 
put up an example, then the boxers will follow whatever example I'm, I'm showing them. So it starts with myself. I, I believe I live a very clean lifestyle. I, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't party. My life is boxing. Uh, so I choose to associate with boxers who are passionate about boxing so that we reciprocate the, the, the energies. So I think it starts with leadership. It, it starts with what they see in front of them. You know, and also um, being a bit strict sometimes and knowing what to tolerate and not to tolerate. So, yeah, I think they, it's, set, it's about setting an example. Uh, if you set a good example, they will follow it. Okay, uh, man, thank you very much for your time. But just before I let you go, um, last words uh, of commitment as far as this fight is concerned to boxing fans, uh, fans of uh, uh, Blom, uh, to the promoter across the road, uh, that is also praying so hard he keeps the title uh, to their TEF. What can you say to them? Uh, it's, it's an interesting fight considering that we are, f we are fighting in enemy territory. Mm -hmm. We are fighting at, we, at, at the champion's promotion, at the champion's background. And also um, for myself personally, I'm, I'm fighting against my idol, uh, Norman Shabani, who trained Tingan Tobela, as well as many others. So that's why I, I was saying I'm not expecting an easy fight. I know um, Norman Shabani is a, is a legendary trainer. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to test my, 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 my training and management skills and fight planning skills against him as well. So it's like, um, it would be like, um, uh, I'm fighting my idol um, also, and also a, a rival promotion, uh, club promotions, uh, you know, we, 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 know what, we know what this title means for them. So we have to uh, put up our best, our best uh, when we're fighting against them. But we are going there to get the job done uh, at all cost. Well, uh, said a mouthful, man. Uh, thank you very much. Let us let you go now. Uh, that was uh, uh, Boy uh, saying a lot about this upcoming fight, the plans. Um, uh, that he has and uh, obviously uh, keeping a promise uh, that this will uh, again uh, come to, to their uh, turf even though he cites and, and he, that it's not going to be an easy one. But obviously, I mean, you're not uh, expecting a walk in the park. Um, it, it's good that you know uh, that you, you got a difficult fight coming up and that also shapes your, 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 your experience. That also shapes your upcoming fights as well. It conditions you and yeah. So thank you very much, man. And you guys always catch this at Mbuyagazo Boxing Channel. Thank you very much.